Connor here again and welcome to another sort of behind the scenes vlog video. So uh, I know that a lot of you are interested in some of the tools and equipment we use here. Uh, so I'm going to show you the different suction tubes that we use and um, you'll probably see a few things that you've not seen before. So let me show that to you now. All right, so these are the suction probes that we use during ear procedures. So I've ranked them kind of in how much I use them, how frequently I use them. So over here, you will have seen these before. These are Zollna or Zoelna suction probes. This is the one that I use most commonly. This, what's it, who's it made by? Network. And this just feels very comfortable in my hand. So I don't know if you, you guys know, but very rarely, in fact, never will I hold it by the hand like that. And go into the ear. I always have it sort of held like a, a paintbrush. This just feels super comfortable. I can do very fine movements. It allows me to extend out my pinky to touch the patient's face. So if they jerk towards me or like flinch towards me, my hand, because my pinky's touching their face, my hand will move with the patient rather than if I was holding it like that and the patient moved towards me, then the tube's just going to ram down against their eardrum. So this is kind of a safety thing, but it also it's just very comfortable. It feels very natural. So network, um, I like these ones, these purple ones here. Let's just neaten this up. Um, moving on, this is another Zollner suction probe here. And they, there are lots of different types, by the way. So you can get Fraser suction probes, you can get McGill suction probes. Um, Zollner suction probes are most commonly used for ears. You know, they're the right size and dimension, the curves in the right spot. And uh, it's just, you know, if you have, you know, for example, Fraser suction probes are really, really long and inappropriate for ears. So Zollner's are the best. These uh, gray ones here, I don't know who these are made by actually. I think I've got this one off Chef Med. Um, these are way more common than the purple ones, but uh, I, I like the purple ones best. Moving on. These, again, are Zollner suction probes, but with fine ends attached. So you'll see here, if I can do it with one hand. There we go. Fabulous. So regular Zollner suction probe. So you can't buy them with the fine ends attached. So you have a regular suction probe. And then this little guy here is the fine end. So the little attachments which you put onto the end, this one is bent. And you can't buy them bent, you have to bend them yourselves. Um, so you just bend it inside the packet, you bend it inside the packet, take it out of the packet, and then attach it on as required. This is how they come. So they come straight like that. Now, the, I mean, immediately I can tell you that this is way too long. Um, so the fine end really needs to be shorter. I might just, I need to, to find a new supplier because this is just, unmanageably long this fine end. But um, the idea is with the fine end, as you can see, it's smaller, so it's less likely to do trauma. It's quieter, it gives you a bit more control when you're suctioning down near the eardrum. So here we go, fine ends. Um, bent and straight. Uh, then we have the larger cousin of the Zollner probe. This is called a McGill suction probe here. Again, very, very beefy, larger diameter, borehole, whatever you want to call it. If I can get focus on that. Maybe not. Um, and uh, it gives you a bit more power, I suppose. There's, there's a greater surface area for the stuff to get sucked into. Um, there's a control hole here as well. You can buy regular Zollners with the control hole, but the idea is that when the hole is open, uh, most of the air will be sucked through the hole rather than the end of the McGill. Um, so if you're, you know, when you're creeping into the ear canal, when you've got to where you want, you can close the hole and then you'll get suction through the, the tube and stuff will be pulled through the tube. Um, as I said, uh, un what am I trying to say? It's not practical to use this all the time because it's so large and beefy. And it's also quite long where the bend is. So again, it's, it's very difficult to hold it and brace properly whilst covering the hole at the same time. It's very awkward. I don't see many people using the McGill. Um, but again, it's, it's just something I have around. I've used it, I don't know, maybe one or two times in the past six months. Not very, it's not hugely um, used in my clinic. And then the Clearway, this is from DTI Medical. I did a video on this a while ago. Control hole here, and it's, um, it spins like that, so you can get the orientation you want. And then this kind of soft cup here at the end will allow you to latch on to hard things. So foreign bodies like marbles, beads, hard pieces of wax. 
and uh, I'll link the Clearway suction video down below. It's, it's quite a cool concept, but again, it's fairly large and not practical for, for most cases, so there we go. So there we have it. These are the suction probes that I use. There's pretty much something for everything there, any particular case that you come across. Again, this guy and this guy are pretty much used consistently. Um, so, and you'll see those, those particular two in most videos. So there we go. Right, I hope you found that interesting. If you have any questions, leave them down in the comment section below. I'll try my very best to get back to you and I'll see you on the next video.